Welcome everyone. I'm here to give you some information about the next full moon in Leo that we will have on the 21st of January 2019. This uh, uh, full moon in Leo will be very special because we will have a full also a full moon eclipse. And it's a very special eclipse because it will last for about an hour and two minutes. Eclipses are very special because they represent uh, a sort of a rebooting and uh, the rebooting of an energy. This is the a second eclipse we have, uh, we've just, we are going to have. Uh, we had another one on the 5th, 6th of January, depending on uh, the area of the world where you live. And uh, it is uh, eclipses, re the first one, the one we had on the 5th, 6th of uh, January was a solar eclipse, partial solar eclipse, while the one we're going to have um, on Monday will be a, a lunar eclipse. There is a big difference between the two because the, uh, the solar eclipse is about acting, is a rebooting, but in order to make us act in a certain direction, while the lunar eclipse is more of an emotional um, rethinking, rearrangement of things. And uh, Neptune, the planet Neptune, will be the, a key point, uh, a key in the um, unfoldment of this uh, huge transformation. Before we go uh, into the astrological part, I would like to share with you um, the numerological, uh, numerological aspects of this eclipse. Um, we, we know that we, the, we are going to have the eclipse on the 21st of the 1st, 2019. Um, in the numerology, in esoteric numerology, 21st uh, is associated to the gift. Uh, to the gift is associated, is also called the princess, is, um, is also called the manifestation of an idea. So normally uh, people who were born on 21st, they normally have a big gift, they're very talented and they really can uh, uh, foresee a lot of things because they receive something, an idea from another level and they see ahead of others. In, uh, in the Bible, uh, this number is associated, is a symbol of the person centered on the object and either on himself. What does it mean is um, the, the, in numerology two is about duality, so it's about the inner duality between what uh, uh, I am, uh, my soul, and what I think I am, which is uh, my personality. So in the one, you know, we have the, the, the this, this full moon will happen on the 20, 21st of the two. The one behind is going to move into the two um, and creating a big transformation, a new view, a new energy. It is very interesting because I might focus on myself, my soul, my focus on my personality. And uh, it is a number which is associated with uh, it's related to the harmony of creation and then it shows the quality of renewal and then our maturity and responsibility. So we are asked to be responsible about who we truly are, about what we want to be, uh, about a, the two and the one is a tree, so it's also about finding, recognizing who we are, because three generally have a big uh, Threes have a big issue in relation to self-worth, uh, self-confidence, recognizing themselves. So here, uh, the main key point is about acknowledging who we truly are. And because of the two in the 21, we are going to experience um, this recognition through the emotional aspect, because the two is in the emotional plane. Um, interesting enough that uh, this moon is Leo, is in Leo because uh, Leo is about I am. 
who am I? I am. And then Leo is connected to, uh, because Leo is a fire sign, is connected to Aries, is another fire sign, and Sagittarius, another fire sign. So the Aries is who am I, you know, I am, who am I? And the Leo is about recognizing self expression. And then um, the Sagittarius energy is about the higher self. So it's a process of transformation because I cannot, um, my, the I am is my soul. I need to acknowledge who I am in Leo and I need to become who I, who I am and follow a purpose in Sagittarius. So um, if we uh, think also 21 is, uh, um, comes from uh, multiplying three by seven. So seven, it relates to the seven chakras and three of the human body. And then three is uh, the plan. So it's like about the higher plan, the divine plan, entering, moving through the seven chakras of the body, which are related to different level of consciousness. So it's about shifting conscious from consciousness from a lower level to a higher level. In the Bible, God defined himself as I am uh, in the Genesis, in the Exodus, uh, but also as I am that I am. So I can, rec is about recognizing ourselves through the experience, the experience of what we have created in our lives. So we are going to face ourselves in relation to what we have created. And then we really deeply realize that we are not. We were holding, we were thinking that that was what we wanted, what we thought we were, but actually we are not. Uh, so the one of the month, not the one of the 20, coming from the 21, is going to give us the rhythm, the rehearsal. So a new wheel moving through, uh, pointing at us and asking us, who do you want to be? Um, in uh, uh, the edition of 21 and 1, the day and the month is 22, and the 22 is a very important number because it's called the seeds of the divine man. So the purpose of this new energy is to plant the seed of, of the new man. Uh, in the Bible, 22 is called a key from God himself. So it's a sort of a calling card uh, coming from God who is asking us to face something, to look at something and face. The 22 is about two twos, it's about two emotions. Uh, facing our own emotion and dealing with it um, so that we can transform something. The 21 is a three, the one of the month is, is a one, so we can read it as a 31 four. And if we add 2019, it's a 20 plus one plus nine, is a 33. Uh, so 43, which is the energy coming from the precipitation of the whole number, is uh, uh, the number in referring to um, a big uh, willingness to transform. 40 in, uh, uh, in the Hebrew letters is related to, uh, is associated to letter man. Remember that the Hebrew letters are um, the field of consciousness, um, intelligences. And uh, so the, each of them has a quality, a, val a value, and a, num and a, a quality, uh, a sound, and a, a number. So all these aspects uh, express uh, uh, an, a, an energy field, a field of consciousness uh, that affects our life. And these are also, the Hebrew letters are also considered um, by the Hebrew to, Jewish tradition, the building blocks of life. If you also are interested, I've just, uh, uh, my new CD is going to come out, the CD I've just, I've just uh, per, um, created uh, with Emiliano Toso. He's a biologist, he's working with uh, Bruce Lipton, and then he works, he makes 432 uh, Hertz music. So we created together 
uh, he created the music, the music of the Hebrew letters, uh, the sound of the Hebrew letters in the 432 Hertz, and uh, I mm, gave the spiritual uh, information, and also we did also meditation, which is also in English. So if you're interested in this CD, you can contact the school, uh, our office, uh, school office, uh, and you can ask for this CD, which will be uh, will come out soon at the, at the end of this month. Um, one um, forty, I was saying, is about uh, is a, it corresponds to the Hebrew letter Mem, and Mem is uh, means water, so is about uh, a re it's related to the flow. Of, uh, of the of history of time. So we are going to see in front of us everything that happened to us up until now. And then Gimel, uh, the, the letters, the number three is associated to the letter Gimel, which means camel, will be uplifted. Because also the letter Gimel in the Kabbalistic system connects uh, Tiferet to Keter, Keter. So is a connection between the heart solar plexus depending on on the tradition you using you're considering to the crown which is the high aspect of the mind and then this high aspect of the mind will come back uh, shortly because uh, um, the high aspect of the mind is related to the pituitary gland and the pituitary gland is part of this full moon eclipse because um, yeah eclipse and um, in Leo, because Leo is associated to the pituitary gland. So is actually an elevation, a glorification of an authority. So we will ask to, the, in numerology, what, I, what does it mean? In numerology, four is the number associated to, person, to our personality, our thinking, emotional behavior, and three is associated to the plan. Uh, recognizing the personality recognizing the plan. So it talks about an inner conflict happening and the contending uh, where two aspects of us, um, two inner aspects, the soul and personality, will um, face each other. Uh, I don't want to use the word contend, but it's actually a sort of a con uh, inner this whole conflict. Where and the main question will be who is in control of your life? Who are you really going to truly choose? Uh, are you going to follow your heart or are you going to follow your mind? And Leo is the um, the astrological sign associated to uh, the heart, the development of the heart. So it's a big, huge transformation. And the addition, the total addition of the precip numerological precipitation uh, gives uh, 34, which in esoteric numerology is uh, um, uh, again, sorry, it's about uh, um, the trans yeah the breaking the limitation so this is going to be also a blood moon a blood moon the main reason of this blood moon is because uh, the light of the earth uh, it will be reflected uh, upon the moon and so will give the moon a sort of a reddish color uh, but what is the esoteric the spiritual meaning of a blood moon is uh, change so there is a big change happening and because blood is related to the life force is associated to blood new blood new life so um, the lunar eclipse will enhance uh, all the aspects uh, um, triggered by the full moon in Leo. Why? Because the purpose of, a, of an eclipse is an, an emotional rebooting period. So we're going, remember that eclipses have an effect on our lives for about six months. So the, the beginning the, from now to um, April, May, we're going to leave a huge transformation. And the key point, will, which will be manifested in the early 2020. But uh, before we go through this huge, the reason, the main reason of this huge transformation is because we have to leave behind the old life, the life we thought, the, um, 
it was appropriate for us in order to live the life we are meant to be. So will be this uh, eclipse will bring a deep understanding within us about uh, we need to change our mind, we need to elevate um, our mind to a higher power. It will be normally, what is the meaning of an, of an eclipse, generally speaking? It's about, um, it's going to trigger a few things. Uh, uh, it's going to, we, something unexpected will happen because this uh, uh, full moon will, will create a T-square with Uranus. Uranus is still in Aries, just at the very end of Aries, 28 and something, 29 degrees. And every time we are reaching the end of a, of a sign, a planet is standing just on the edge of a sign, uh, we talk about a critical degree because we are neither here or there but and also will trigger all the challenging aspect of that sign so that we uh, will we will have to face it so it is a perfect time to make a decision that we didn't want to make uh, this is the effect of the lunar eclipse it will bring that up and then it will make us choose and give the courage to choose what we didn't have the courage to choose uh, and then it will support us in manifesting, uh, realizing the project that was driving us mad. It will give, uh, um, it will be, it will support us in um, um, quite, um, quit, up a, um, quit a job, a job that we felt it, it was no longer our own job and have the courage to follow our dreams break a relationship because we will feel that that relationship whether it's friendship or a personal relationship um, is was coming had already come to a, an end and we were dragging and dragging and dragging it so and also will give us courage the courage to do things to do that we didn't want to do so what an eclipse generally means and lunar eclipse is about an ending the show is over uh, and the new or will is going to begin tomorrow so we it's going the purpose of the lunar eclipse is getting out of our comfort zone and give us the courage to do what we felt right um, because it relates to the moon is really deeply emotional and we have a lot of planets in emotional sign and we'll, I will talk um, shortly about Neptune which will be uh, very important. This full moon in Leo will be a zero 51 degrees so I the, starting from the 7th of November we have been uh, we've gone through uh, we've been going through a, a series of eclipses and uh, all the new moon eclipses are are going to be at uh, have been at uh, 15 degrees and all the uh, the new the full moon are going to be um at a vein at uh, zero degrees zero degrees something 15, 15 degrees something for a total of 11 uh, uh now a total of 11 new moon and full moon 11 is a doorway so this is a huge big energy bringing through a complete shift the one facing the one we have to face the personality facing the soul a big conflict but a big transformation and it will end um, at the end of uh, April so these six months altogether from November to the end of April are going to be the 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 preparation the setting up of a huge transformation leaving our own life behind which will complete occur which happen uh, in the early month of 2020 especially when saturn and pluto will be conjunct uh, in capricorn so and then pluto is the is i call it um the treasure, the hidden treasure. So Pluto hides the inner potential, the inner treasure, and Saturn manifests that 
on a physical level. So it, 51, uh, the, the number behind, is about, uh, is associated it has, it has been associated mm. in, um, by some numerologists uh, to the universal time. What does it mean? It means the uh, time of the soul to attain perfection. So um, it's the universe is pushing for a purification, uh, a sword um, that has to come into our heart so that we, give, we have a birth into mm. the heart. Our heart needs to be purified, cleansed, refined in order to let go of what is no longer needed and uh, so that we can wake up to who we truly are. So five is an ending and is it's called the number of change. Um, and also Leo is the fifth sign. So it's talking about an, an initiation to into of the I who I am into the collective. What I mean is an initiation to my true self, and it marks a new cycle. So uh, when it, Leo is about the birth of self consciousness, I can be who I am from a soul point of view unless I'm self-conscious, unless I am aware of what I I feel I am deeply. So I think about, you know, Leo in the tarot system uh, is associated to the, the tarot card strength. You know, we have in the tarot card strength, I'll show you, we have the, the Leo and the woman. The woman is the soul, holding the, the, uh, the jaw of the lion and uh, and is actually the soul holding the personality. So it's about inner strength, the inner strength to be. And then while I was preparing that, I was also thinking about the number, the or summer bottle associated to number 11, bottle 11, which is uh, the same bottle. A clear of a pink and the same bottle is about uh, I love myself the way I am which means to find the courage and the strength not to hold back anymore but to accept who we truly are pink is about acceptance and love and the clear is about focusing your attention focusing the light bringing the light into and then we, who you are if you shake this bottle together, you have a pale pink, a pale pink of a pale pink, which is Lady Nada. And Lady Nada is about listening to the sound, Nada, the sound of the universe. It is about uh, listening to the inner voice. And then uh, it's also talking about detachment, because pink, pale pink is about detachment from all we have been in order to be what we truly are. Um, Leo is associated being a fire sign and is also a fire a, a time fire is about purification we purify through fire um, is associated also to the other fire signs so Aries and Sagittarius so Aries about I am is the will of the soul the intent of the soul the consciousness of the soul and then Leo my individualizing manifesting and the Sagittarius is um, is um, the higher mind in uh, esoteric astrology so manifesting connected to the higher mind and having the aim to follow the purpose of the higher mind um, the, so Leo is a sign on one level because it's a five, the, um, associated to number five to change Leo relates to romance relates to creativity, relates to the will to be, self-expression, it's about being love. And uh, so when the moon is in the sign ruled by the, by the sun, uh, means that our mind, because the moon represents our mind, our personality, and also going through a huge eclipse, is going to be completely rebooted on one level. So the new moon in Leo is about embracing a new way of being, sharing uh, your light, uh, actual, actualizing our higher self, and merge 
with the plan. Um, the sun, in, in esoteric astrology, um, the sun, Leo is ruled by the sun. It's, uh, um, the sun, the physical sun is the ruler of Leo, is the ruler of Leo in um, uh, exoteric astrology. Um, from the point of view of the way of the disciple, uh, the ruler of the sun, is, which is the higher level of, of uh, humanity, the one looking uh, to connect with their soul, is the ruler of Leo in this case, is the heart of the sun. And then in the, uh, from the hierarchical aspect, the ruler of, the, of Leo is um, the spiritual sun, the sun behind the sun, the soul series. The energy related, the planet that brings forth the energy through the heart of the sun is Neptune. Neptune works on our head, on our throat and our third eye in order to bring, dissipate our illusion. Neptune is the ruler of the emotion, of the waters, so the waters relate to emotion. So what does it mean is because the moon will bring about a huge emotional re reset. Uh, Leo, uh, Neptune will uh, support the transform, um, um, the transformation of, um, and then uh, the the soul, the uh, I say the clearing of our emotional aspect, and also will help us. Uh, give us the support in order so that we can merge with the whole because a sense Neptune only high in, in its higher aspect is about merging with everything that is. And then Neptune at this uh, full moon is at 14 degrees 35 in Pisces. Um, 40 degrees for Pisces is about death and rebirth. Uh, it's related also to the prison, the, 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 the soul being, in, uh, being uh, kept trapped by the personality, but also is about resurrection. And then 14 in the Bible, and talking about the degree of Neptune, is, uh, means uh, deliverance and means uh, um, change. While 35 is, and also uh, means uh, uh, salvation. And while 40, 35 is about hope and truth, so the change occurring by looking and facing the inner truth. So while this, the spiritual aspect of the sun relates to Uranus, and Uranus is in Aries uh, at a critical degrees, um, and uh, Uranus is the voice of God and is square, which is square to the sun and the moon. So Uranus works on our head and makes uh, uh, things happen. So because it, through the head, it gives an impulse to the body because it's the head ruling uh, the body. And so also it gives the direction and the control of the body. So. Uranus rules, esoterically rules Aries, rules Libra, and rules Aquarius. Aries, as I said before, is I am, my soul intention. Libra is the, in the marriage, is the mental unit between the, the, the emotional and the, and, the, and the mental, and the, the personality and the soul. And Aquarius is the relationship with the whole, is the vision. So. I will connect myself, my mind and my heart together and I will be, I will fo be following my vision because remember that uh, in the full moon, the, the moon is in Leo but the sun is in Aquarius which is the vision. So also another aspect, Leo rules the pineal gland and the pineal gland we have an anti-pineal gland and a post-pineal gland. So the anti-pineal gland correspond to, the reason, to our reason and the post pineal to the emotional. So in the um, in the uh, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules labor, um, the 
the label associated to Leo is the slang, the slang of the Nemean lion. So it's about in the story of a cave with two entrances, Hercules closes one and leaves also the other one uh, open and so that it can kill the lion. Um, so the, the entrance that Hercules cl uh, closes is the emotional aspect. So emotion will burst and reason will follow, it will shift. So it's a huge transformation happening. So it, we are going to give birth to what we truly, truly feel. We won't be able to hold the true emotional aspect that we had, we felt within ourselves. We won't be able to deny the truth within us. So we will have to really face the truth and shift that, because this is what an eclipse means. It won't be able to hold anything back. It will, will be completely unexpected and we will have to really um, become aware of it. So this is why we're going to um, be in a way obliged by the universe to focus on our what we really feel and then and then act this this full moon is asking us to act get up and act upon our life upon um, our emotional in consequence in, as a consequence of our emotional up turmoil which will be like a sort of, will bring a big awareness and then being revolution, revolutionary so love ourselves and don't follow what the mind, what the personality says, but follow what the soul says. So it's a huge shift happening, a huge shift occurring, a big transformation, and uh, uh, this will have an effect on our personal life, so and also on our job and on our um, professional career. So it's a huge, huge thing happening. In this, uh, um, the big benefit that we will have at this full moon is the, uh, the conjunction between um, Venus and uh, Jupiter in Sagittarius. Venus is a 14 degree, degrees 38 minutes. And Venus brings two sides close together so that we can see them. And Jupiter has a purpose of joining the heart and the, the heart and the mind. So, because it will be um, um, triggered, it will be squared to uh, Pluto through Neptune, and also will be entwined with uh, Mars. What these two planets are going to do is the illusion will come up. Um, uh, Venus and Jupiter will support the breakthrough and then uh, because 38 is a breakthrough of the chain, the big change, the big breakthrough, the alchemy by allowing the die will, not my will, and when I talk about the die will is about the will of uh, the soul. And then the trine with Mars will create a very strong energy that will make us face the truth the truth uh, mars is also square to saturn um, so saturn is about its time it's the lord of time it's time to face what you need to face it's time to bring up your frustration uh, your idea, Mars relates to race 6, so it's also about your idea of perfection, about the way things should be, that made you behave in a certain way, face the truth and leave behind all the illusion. So, um, Neptune is a 14 degrees 35, 14, I said, is the number of um, of truth, is the number of uh, uh, 30. Uh, 40 is the number of liberation, deliverance, 35 is the number of hope and truth, but 14 is also the 14 Hebrew letters in the in the um, in the in the Hebrew alphabet, this one, and Lun means fish. 
So fish means uh, is equal to 50. The noon is equal to 50. Fishes live underwater. So in they are completely covered by water, so they are unconscious. The animals all live on earth are conscious. So they are the, the noon is asking us to become more conscious and then accept what we feel, the water, and then uh, create the transformation that um, is requested. 50 also relates to the, the Pentecost, the, descend, the, the descending of the, of the Holy Spirit. And then if you think about the meaning of the Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came to the Apostles, they could finally speak what was given to them. So it's a time of uh, facing the emotion, but also speak about it, expresses this mass energy will push in the direction of um, speaking. And there is a huge, also big square uh, create that is between Palestina, the moon conjunct um, the north node, Uranus, and uh, um, Pl uh, Pluto, Vulcan, and uh, Mercury, and the, the south node, and an energy that is going to illumine our mind, give the wisdom, and show us what to do, the wisdom about what to do. The fact that the north node is conjunct to the the moon means that our thinking, our personality is going to go in the direction of our uh, soul, our future. The North Node is about Dharma. And remember the, um, that the North Node, South Node, they are in Cancer Capricorn, is about the time to express what we truly feel, the time to say what we truly feel, not hide anymore. Because Cancer uh, as the ten, the North Node is in Cancer, as the tendency to hide. So it actually asks to receive and break the patterns of the personality, which is about, oh, this is what it should be. This is what the perfect way is. The shifting, shifting our, moving from our mind, the reasoning to the heart. Uh, there, is, there are also two kites in this um, sky configuration, uh, which is about big transformation, and then two mystic, uh, square, uh, mystic rectangles, which is about two doorways, which uh, bring, um, um, where we find also um, Juno and H Hicket which is about crossroads and in a marriage. So it's a time of it's a time of transformation, is about change and is about allowing the death of the old so that the new can be born. Um, there is a beautiful poem coming from Tagore, uh, an Indian poet, and where he says, death, um, and I'm translating it, death is not about um, blowing off the light, it is about putting aside the lamp so that the, um, the dawn has come. So wishing you all the best for this uh, full moon uh, with the lunar eclipse and uh, the blessing from the heart and just allowing and leave because we no longer need the lamp, we can really leave in the light of the sun. The sun is rising. Have a lovely weekend. Oh, for those of you who would like to be part of our uh, beautiful courses that we're going to, that are going to be held in Puglia, in Apulia, um, at the at Michael, Archangel's Michael Abode. For all the information, you can check this page and see all of that. Uh, there will be English translation, so if you need that, uh, that will be provided and the course will be from the 2nd of April to the 7th of April meditation and concentration part one and two we will connect uh, with the messages coming so, from nature nature we will learn how to use meditation in order to focus uh, to receive guidance from within and so that we can manifest the true life um, from the heart.
having a lovely weekend. We are uh, hoping you can be um, you manage you can be with us in April and wish you all the best. Bye bye. <laughs>